Here in this quiet neighborhood, what we have is a community in shock. That is the corner where Officer Kim was shot. He died at the hospital. His death is being felt across this entire state. Just before 9 a.m., it started with some shots. And I heard um, pop, pop, pop. It turned into a barrage of gunfire. There was like one beat of silence and then instant police sirens, and then there was a very rapid succession of lots of popping noises. By the time it ended, two men were down, a suspect and an officer. Sonny Kim, a 27-year veteran of the Cincinnati Police Department, died within hours at the hospital. As, as officers arrived, they were crying and upset. I saw a couple of people get out of their car visibly shaking and, you know, needing to sit down. Nine hours, that's how long police stayed on scene. As they cleared out, the standing room only crowd piled in to a vigil for a fallen brother. We can't go back and change this morning. Officer Kim was well known in this neighborhood. Tears, tears, tears of pain. He was well liked in this city. It, it, it's scary, scary and sad. This is a community which won't soon forget him. I'm just so terribly sorry. I can't even imagine what his children and his wife are going through. In tonight, Officer Kim leaves behind three children. He's the first officer to die in the line of duty here in this city in 15 years. In Cincinnati, Dan Perlman, NBC4.